Hello and welcome to my channel ACR MRCP. I am Dr. Oporajita Roy and in today's video I am going to answer all your questions regarding PLAB and MRCP. So many of you ask me whether you should do PLAB or MRCP, whether PLAB is compulsory before MRCP or whether you should do both PLAB and MRCP. Now there are many videos on YouTube uh, on this topic but I thought I'll make a comparative analysis between these two exams so that you can go through this video and make your own choice depending on your suitability, your stage of career and what your aspirations are. PLAB and MRCP are completely different exams and there is no way you can confuse between the two. Before we go into the differences between PLAB and MRCP, let me tell you what is the similarity between the two. Both PLAB and MRCP gives you GMC registration. But apart from that, the exam caters to a very different set of candidates and have completely different aims and objectives. PLAB essentially is a licensing exam. It notifies the GMC that the candidate has competencies at par with the FY2, that is the foundation year 2 level. For Indian and subcontinental countries, this would be at the level of house staffship or house job. But PLAB does not give you a degree. Also, it is only for international graduates. UK graduates do not have to take PLAB because they have passed their medical degree from the UK. Their competencies are already proved to the GMC. MRCP on the other hand is a certification exam that gives you a postgraduate degree. This is conducted by the Royal College of Physicians poised at the ST3 or the pre-registrar level in the UK training pathways. Also, MRCP is mandatory for UK graduates as well as it is an entry level criteria for specialty level training in the UK. Also, many candidates have this question whether PLAB is compulsory before MRCP. The simple answer is no. PLAB and MRCP can be completely different pathways. For example, I haven't done PLAB, I took MRCP straight away. Please remember that many international graduates Take the PLAB first to enter into the NHS system and the UK training pathways at a more junior level and gradually build up their CV to reach the pre-specialty training level where they have to do MRCP as an entry level criteria to enter specialty training. This then brings us to the most important question, PLAB or MRCP, which is the right pathway for me? In order to answer that question, you should ask yourself three questions. What stage of your career are you at? Are you committed to a specialty like medicine or allied specialties like anesthesia yet? And why do you want to do PLAB or MRCP? See, PLAB is a very junior exam. It is for new medical graduates who are still not committed to medicine or surgery or gynae. They are ideally at a foundation year one that is a post internship level and they want to start co-training in the UK. The PLAB candidate is very different from an MRCP candidate. The MRCP is a much senior level exam and it is for those who are committed to specialties of medicine or allied specialties like anesthesia. You need to have good clinical experience in medicine to apply for and pass MRCP. You're probably at the pre-registrar level who wants to start specialty training in the UK. Let's now talk about the entry level criteria for both the exams. Please remember an English language test is compulsory before you are eligible for applying for PLAB. English language test is not required for MRCP you need to have a valid primary medical qualification for both PLAB and MRCP, which means that you must have at least 12 months of mandatory internship experience. It is recommended to have two years clinical experience before you appear for PACES. Next, you can ask me which is easier to pass. To answer that question, let's understand the exam patterns better. Both MRCP and PLAB are a mixture of theory and practical exams. For PLAB, there is only one theory paper. For MRCP, there are two theory papers. Also, please remember you can finish all parts of MRCP from international centers, but for PLAB, OSCEs only take place in the UK in the Manchester center. 
So you have to make a trip to UK in order to pass PLAB. You have to finish all parts of PLAB maximum within four years. For MRCP, it is slightly relaxed as it is a slightly longer exam. These are the pass rates. For PLAB part one, you can see the pass rates are roughly 65 to 75%, whereas for PLAB two, they are 65 to roughly 78%. MRCP is a more difficult exam. The part one passing rates can range from 50 to 70%. Part two can range from 60 to 80%. But PACES pass rates vary roughly from 50 to 60%. Lastly, none of these exams come cheap. So let's look at a comparative cost analysis. I have seen in the social media groups that often candidates feel they should do MRCP instead of PLAB in order to save money. So please let me tell you that money or fees should never be criteria because both of them are quite expensive. Please remember that in order to do PLAB, you have to additionally pay for ILTS and OET fees. You'll have to travel to the UK, so include UK visa fees, traveling and living costs. But MRCP is not cheap either. If you're unable to pass in the first attempt, Recurring attempts will cost you additional money. So please read the offer documents carefully before investing. I hope this video was useful and I hope that by now you are more confident about these two exams and you know exactly what to do. However, if you still have more queries, don't forget to comment in the comment section below with your questions and I will be happy to help you with them. Thanks for watching. Stay safe, keep studying and ace your MRCP.